Got my boy Mies on. Welcome to Hood Champs, bro. So it's amazing what you do. Introduce yourself to the people at home. I go by the name Mies. I'm an artist slash designer slash creative. Just making my way out here. Thank you for coming on Hood Champs. It's an honor to have you on Mies. Um, I've been following your career since the very beginning, from a young adolescent to an adult. Uh, doing your custom work, the things that you've done is amazing. Uh, you're like a modern day Picasso with the art that you do, the fashion that you do. So means you had a long journey in this fashion. How did you get started? Uh, I started off, I always knew how to draw, mm -hmm. but um, I say I had got sick when I was young. When I, when I was like 18, I had got sick, but I was getting sick with my kidney. I was uh, about to do uh, dialysis. I found out my kidney was failing. So when I'm going to dialysis, uh, I started off bringing a pair of shoes with pair of shoes to uh to the uh place with me. Mm -hmm. It started painting every time I was going to dialysis. Mm -hmm. I was there three hours, three hours uh every time I went three times a week. So I had some, I had to uh find something to do. So you went to dialysis three times a week? Yeah Monday, Wednesday, Friday I was at dialysis from probably from like nine o'clock to twelve thirty, one o'clock. Right. So in that time you needed something to do. Yeah. Occupy yourself. Yeah occupy myself. So I started doing shoes. Mm -hmm. Even I was uh, getting my homeboy shoes, right. buying shoes, old shoes. I was just painting, mm -hmm. learning how to do that. So that's how I started off. And then I uh, end up switching the clothes. When I get home, I draw some on some t-shirts, make a shirt weird. And people ask me like, yeah, where you get that from? That's dope. And I tell them like I made it. And they, be, they they wouldn't believe me, of course. Like some people wouldn't believe me. Right. And I just they'll see me again. They'd be like, "Oh man, can I uh, get one?" So I just make them one. That's how right. I really started off. Right. Just word wearing of mouth. my yeah, wearing my own stuff, word of mouth. And then that's when you know, MySpace and all that stuff was just coming right. out. The internet. So that's like basically how I started off. I had to go through that to find out what I wanted in life. Right. And that's kind of segued you into what you really wanted to do. You found your niche yeah. through that. Yeah. Through being on dialysis, going up there three times a week, and having time on his hand to just basically figure out what he wanted to do, he found his niche. Yeah, and stay strong through that. Yeah. No matter what you go through, just got to stay strong, keep working, keep your head up, you know, because you never know. I don't know. I don't know where I'll be right now if I never would have went to dialysis. I don't know where I'll be right now. Right. So that's like the reason that I'm doing what I'm doing right now. That's a big reason why I'm doing right now. That's a big reason why I never give up. Things go. Because of dialysis. Things that hurt you. Things that wounded you. Things that made you bleed. Things that suffer where you suffered loss. Promotions you didn't get. Houses you lost. Men who left. Women who betrayed you. It takes courage to let it go. You have to have enough faith to believe that what is in front of you is greater than what was behind you. A person who can forgive nothing is a person who's totally destroyed. Father, you and um, we want to thank you, and I want to thank you for trailblazing your own path and making all these things possible for our community and uh, giving that image for people and uh, kids alike to look up to. So you mean a lot to our community, and we love you for it. Good chap, sir. I believe it's complicated to be as diverse as you are, as different as you are, uh, in what you do in your own lane. What advice could you give people at home that's trying to be themselves, be unique? Just uh, don't try to be like nobody. Just do you. Just create your own lane. Don't worry about what other people think. And just do you. That's all I can say. Just. Don't try to copy nobody, just stand out. Like once you stand out, it's like everybody notice. So that's like the easiest way right. to get attention is standing out. Don't even, 
worry about what people saying or right. just just do you. That's all I can say. Measy, how does it feel to be recognized as a designer, as a painter, as a custom fashion urban icon? I feel good right now. <laughs> you know, I had to work, 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 work to where I'm at right now. I had to put in a lot of work. You know, I met a lot of people. A lot of motivation came with it. So I can't really complain right now. I'm just trying to, you know, set an example of you. Capitalize for you. What do you see yourself in the next five years, Means? What do you see yourself in the next five years? Next five years? Man. I want to be all over the world, to tell the truth. I want to... Uh, have art shows, fashion shows, a store. I want to do everything within the next five years. Set examples, man. I just gotta pushing for all that right now. I want to just be big. I want to hopefully work with uh, shoe companies, all type of stuff. I want to have my art everywhere around the city, right. everywhere around the world. Paint buildings. Right. I want to do everything. I mean, and you are very accomplished earlier on in your career of this. I remember you did a mural on like a building, a big mural uh, yeah, a while back. Yeah. Uh, the Lamo Swami, he's still up too right now. Right. Uh, Fashion Center? Uh, um, the Lamo and Santa Fe, I think. That's Santa Fe. I think that's Santa Fe and the Lamo. The Swami in the back of the building is right there, still up right now. Right. Amazing work. What, 12 feet high, 12, 13 feet high mural? Bigger than that, huh? It's bigger than the project building down there. I was nervous. As, that was the first time I ever did it, so. Hitting bitches with an accent. I need that money back with all blue hundreds. I be living life fast with all blue hundreds. And the stash is all blue hundreds. Anything you trying to do, we all done done it. Need that money back with all blue hundreds. I be living life fast with all blue hundreds. And the stash is all blue hundreds. Anything you trying to do, we all done done it. Chain full of water, come take you a dip. If I get a little man, I'm taking a trip. Fuck your little stash, I'm taking the zip. Niggas know the duck when I get the trip. Not you and your brother for that color money. In front of the 12 gauge, look like it's Ferragambi. Two holes, all you niggas. Just wanna have like a store, a gang of paint zone, buildings, murals everywhere, uh, my clothes everywhere. Hopefully, like collab with a couple of companies it's just uh, fashion shows art shows and I want to just do everything fashion week everything everywhere I want to be involved in all that hopefully I learn how to sew by the end too right <laughs> Mies, did you ever see the growth of your brand the where it is now did you ever see this coming nah I never seen it coming I was, I used to pray for it. I used to pray to stay busy, like, right. you know, but I just kept working. And the support came with it. The word of mouth came with it. The Instagram, the, the internet period, just people just started paying attention to it. So I guess that's how I got a big growth off the internet, got bigger and bigger like that. I can also see your brand being like, like, going into like shoe deals. I can see like shoe deals like Adidas, Nikes, them coming to you and actually need to design uh, a shoe for them. Yeah, you hopefully. See that? Yeah, hopefully. I know they paying attention because I be just... You're everywhere. Yeah, and I, uh, I just see it, man. I just see it. Just, so if y'all want to reach out, just holler at me, man, because I got the ideas for days. You hear that Adidas, you hear that Nike? He open to it, so reach out to the man. Take a look at his work. Get the people at home your Instagram and where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram, uh, Mezeon, M-E-Z-E-O-N. Just tap in with me, follow me, you know, show support, show love. Let's get at it. Get at it.
custom anything, DM him. He got, he got that work. Yeah, for real. Yeah, go to his page, man. Take a look, man. Y'all will be very, very impressed. Grab some popcorn, too. Right. So, Measy, I want to thank you for trailblazing your own path, coming on Hood Champs. It's been an honor to have you on, speaking to the youth, letting everybody at home know your journey. It's an honor, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hood Champ. Hey, man, look forward to bringing you on again, man. In the future, when you get those New York Fashion Weeks, <laughs> and you get those LA Fashion Weeks, we're gonna bring you back on for sure. Anytime. Be proud Anytime. of you, bro. Salute. Anytime. Anytime. Folks at home, man, take a look, man. Next big fashion icon. Take a look at him. Remember his face. Remember his logo. Easy <laughs> on. Good chaps. All right, bro. Thank you. It's amazing you tuned in a hood champions log in.